Tis the season for giving. And why focus only on late December of each year? Why not year-round? And why mostly to the people closest to us? Why not to everyone? My Christmas gift to myself this season is to create a culture of giving around me over the whole next year. Our knower judger would have many of us believe that it's all about us. As a result, we find ourselves frequently a little empty, unsatisfied, always seeking. I recently read a blog entry from Jeff Goins, who's a writer, entrepreneur, speaker, who posits that you've been lied to. You were told that if you worked hard enough, that if you put enough hours in and got good enough grades, that you'd be happy and that you'd get your reward. And then you could start living. How's that working for you? In recent years, perhaps associated with age, I've become a student or more an observer of the concept of karma. In plain English, what goes around comes around. Bob Berg, a fellow I knew from my days in the National Speakers Association, and I still follow, coined the phrase and wrote the book, The Go-Giver. The Go-Giver revolves around the story of a young professional who's striving for success. Joe's ambitious. However, lately it seems like his hard work and efforts are not paying off in terms of results. Following a disappointing quarter in terms of sales results, he inadvertently seeks the mentorship of the chairman. Joe then embarks on a learning journey by meeting go-givers, friends of the chairman. Through these interactions, he learns of the five laws of stratospheric success. One, value. Your true worth is determined by how much more you give in value than you take in payment. Two, compensation. Your income is determined by how many people you serve and how well you serve them. Three, influence. Your influence is determined by how abundantly you place other people's interests first. Four, authenticity. The most valuable gift you have to offer is yourself. Five, receptivity. The key to effective giving is to stay open to receiving. Now, Jeff Goins has a shopping list of things I can buy into, not just this month, but all year. Begin small, he says. Here are a few ideas. Make a donation to a nonprofit or add one to my regulars. Allow myself to be interrupted. Get creative with my generosity, even if I'm on a limited budget. Volunteer at a local soup kitchen or, or shelter. Visit a nursing home or a hospital and listen to people's stories. Go on a mission trip, even if it's right here in St. Louis. Focus on the giving, not the getting. So what are you waiting for? And why stop December 26th? Then, and only then, may you find these words from Albert Einstein to be accurate. The value of a man resides in what he gives and not what he is capable of receiving. Merry Christmas. It's Kim. And this is another moment of clarity.